Penny, you're so cute. I was trying to get him cleaning his tail. He looks so cute. He looks like a little squirrel. He was laying in the bed. Oh no, come on, I'm rounding your babies up. So I'm going to go make some dinner and you guys got to go beds for a bit. <laughs> Everyone else has gone off to sleep and then he wandered in the office so I grabbed him. But now he's like, I really want to come back out. You want to wander around while I look for everybody else, Mr. Panty Boy? Okay, I'll give you a few minute reprieve. Come on down, little man. I like to, he always likes to jump on the turtle bed. And he like hangs there and, and waits for me to open the door. He's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm going to hang out here. <gasps> God, I'm sleepy. Oh, here it comes. Oh, get the back end. Boy, oh, that was interesting. You didn't even lower the back end. You just kind of flopped. Okay, so now you're going to come up here and pester Mocha? Oh, no, you're going to do the... I love when they do that. They go to stretch and they like fall over. Oh, there's Penny. You want to see Moki? I bet you Moki will get mad at you and run away. Look, there's Mocha. Moki, look. What's behind you? What is that? Penny, that's a ferret's pen. It doesn't need covering. Penny gets very upset because she doesn't like any other animal to leave a poop uncovered. So she sees a ferret poop on newspaper and she's like, Oh dear God, cover that. I can't believe I have to live with such piggies. Piggies, Penny. Okay, kiddos, I gotta go find the weasels. Or actually, let's do a show everybody where the weasels go. Okay, the first step we go is we go into the nightstand bottom drawer. Because that is usually a good place to find ferrets in their native habitat. Oh, and it's very heavy tonight, so oh my god, I just sat. Sorry, Pan, I just sat on your head. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yes. There are two little uh, peas in the pod here. There's big old... Ugh. This is big old Jack. He's a big boy. He says, I'm sleepy. And believe it or not, we actually found Puck in a slowed down... This is very rare. Puck in a slowed down sleepy state. Yes, he is. Okay, so let's put the Puck and the Jack back in the cage. Pardon my camera work here. Oh. Oh, Jack says, let me go. Actually, Jack likes to go up to the upper bachelor loft. He likes the bed up there. He's so sleepy. He's like, you need to put me into bed because I am so very tired. I'm very tired. Okay. Meanwhile, Puck has retreated to the large barrel. Okay, so now we will go. There's the penny cat scratching on a scratchy post. Okay, then we move this and we go into the closet. And note the closet, it's funny. In any other house, anyone else lives here, they'd probably be like, man, look at that huge gap. I mean, what is that for? Like 70s shag rug or something? But for me, it's like perfect because ferrets can get in the closet and the door can be shut. So, there's a snuggle sack in here. And what do we find? We find a Roxy ferret. Roxy says, I'm very sleepy. So we put the Roxy ferret on the shoulder. Oh, and then I have to show you here. This is the Weasel Roundup. I actually made this for um, the neighborhood kids that were taking care of my um, Maggie and Nellie that were taking care of my ferrets when I go away for the cat shows. So all you do is you move these down. Of course, this says Tommy because I was thinking I was going to name him Tommy, but then I changed it, kept it Jack. Okay, no focus there. So anyway, so then you just put the ferret in the cage. It's like I'm making a recipe. You put the ferret in your pert. Oh, and then you straighten up the blanket up here. If I don't have blankets on the levels, they slide all over the place. It's quite amusing. Let's see how Jack's doing. Oh, he's He's lulled off to sleep. Then Sassy, she's pretty predictable. There's Pan me while he's still wandering around. Let's go in the office here. There's a pink blanket in this closet. And she loves... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she may be more advanced uh, hiding on me. Oh, the winter cap? No. 
Oh, where did she go? Oh, she might be in the octopus. Nope. Okay, she did some more advanced hiding on me. Let's see where she might be, Mr. Pan. Oh, I just kneeled on your tail. I'm sorry. Do you see her? Huh? This is always fun. Oh, can't really see the dark here, but I will pull out what I found. <laughs> this is a a winter cap, because <laughs> there's a shelf in there with my caps and gloves and stuff, right? So you put this down on the ground, and you find a very sleepy, sassy ferret. <laughs> and then meanwhile, there's Mr. Pan. Come here. Oh, oh, Mr. Pan's being all spazoid. Okay, hold on. More great camera work. I think Pan must have just woken up from his nap because now he's all wound up. So I might have to let him stay out for a bit. Because if you notice, Mr. Pandalina, what are you doing? Look at you. He says, bedtime schmed time. I'm not ready for bed. Bed's for sissies. <laughs> But Sassy says, Sassy says, I want to go to bed. And there's your sister. Roxy, do you want to come out and play with Pan for a little bit? You're still kind of awake. I know Sassy wants to go to bed. Oh, does she? Nice scratchy sound there, Pan. Okay, we'll let your sister come out for a bit. I'm going to kick her butt. Oh, that's good. <laughs> when putting the ferrets back in the cage, make sure you shut the bottom door. Otherwise, everybody you put in might come right back out again. Uh, okay, we got one, two, three, four, five. Man, it seems like such a small number to count. We started this year with seven, but we've lost two to cancer, so we're just down to five. Which is still a lot of weasels, but certainly a lot easier to count. Just to let you, uh oh, don't mess with Mocha. I want Percy's lunching. Okay, good night everyone. We'll let you two stay out for a little bit longer. Everyone else is sleepy time.